Hey folks, so I've been doing my homework and as you can see I've been printing a ton of uh, tire inserts, replacements of uh, foams. So something that I want to, uh, you know, talk about is um, how to print these things and what are the different outcomes that you get. Uh, depending on what nozzle uh, are you using on the printer and basically what out outcome you can expect. So these are for example 1.9's um, and these over here are 2.2 uh, narrow uh, version 5.5 for uh, comp crawling. Basically, this would fit perfectly on some pro Proline Ibex uh, tires. And here we also have uh, a few examples of this. Uh, this is a 2.2 uh, for a 5.4 tire. It's almost the same height. Uh, and then we have here the XL version, which is for 2.2. Or 5.7 tall tire, so slightly uh, bigger diameter. Uh, so just an example. Um, so I have here printed in different um, forms. So this one is kind of more thought for U4. So it is and it's wider for these kind of big tires like Proline XL 2.2s or rock beads 2.2, so all those kind of things that are, you know, fat, tall tires. If you see the squish here, this is it's not really soft. Um, it, it's actually stiff. And, you know, for racing, we usually want that because we want the rig to be very predictable. So while still, you know, squish quite a bit, so it will add up to terrain and stuff, it's not a ton, so n not probably not good for crawling. Um, good for racing and you know bashing in general. Uh, this will last a long, a lot. They will receive a bunch of abuse. Like TPU is super resistant. The filament that I'm printing here, this plastic is called TPU. Very resistant, super strong. Uh, you can compress it a ton and you know also has a huge elongation so they these things will handle all the views that you you put them through and the design makes it in such a way that in this uh you know direction it is flexible and 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 you know soft but in this other direction is really hard like it won't you know it won't squish in, in this direction so that keeps the tire in shape all the time during side healing or you know when you're going fast and your tires are doing like this um, and has an angle so it has this to provide a bit more support and also they won't deform so keeping your rig is great uh, very stable basically so these are and these are the comb crawler uh, tires. Uh, sorry, inserts. So if you see, there are two two versions that I have printed here. Um, one. Uh, so let me yeah here this no oh, here sorry this one. I have three prints here. These two are basically the same, and this one um, this one is not so. This was printed with a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and this was printed with a with a 0 0.3 millimeter nozzle. Um, the nozzle is the is where the plastic is melted when the printer I is printing these parts, and you know the 0 0.3 millimeter or 0 0.4 millimeter um, indicates the diameter of the nozzle. Um, at the edge where it's printing. So 0 0.4 millimeter is extremely small, 0 0.3 is even smaller. When you put a smaller nozzle, uh, you get a thinner print basically on, on these walls. And overall in the whole print, 
um, compared to the 3.4 millimeter nozzle, making the insert way softer the smaller the nozzle is. The 6% that I have here is just the infill, infill percentage that I use. Um, between 6 and 4%, it honestly doesn't change much, uh, but I've been doing a ton of 4% lately, uh, which brings, uh, uh, you know, results in, some, in, in an insert extremely soft because I've been looking to nail the insert for crawling. Uh, for in this example, this is the 0.4 millimeter uh, nozzle printed uh, insert, and you can see that it is soft. It is softer than, than the one that we saw here. This is pretty stiff. Um, it's softer because the design has less uh, support, uh, less amount of those zigzag patterns compared to this one. This one has way more, uh, it, and it was intended for you for um, so it is softer way softer um, but even then if you're trying these in a lightweight rig like a comp crawler like a sporty or a really you know comp uh, kind of rig that you're uh, running and one you know the best tire grip this still is a bit hard compared to uh let's say a c's uh crawler innovation double deuce foam like the outer foam is going to be softer than this and that usually you know it, it's a problem so this is kind of an all-rounder um insert where it's going to be okay on crawling it's going to be okay on kind of racing and bashing uh but it's not going to be the soft one this one is in 0 0.3 uh, millimeter and this is extremely soft. Like this uh, insert deforms immediately on pressure, almost like a real foam. This one, uh, you know, has resistance uh, because as I said, the, the walls are thicker because of the nozzle that I'm using resulting in a more stiff print. And this one um, is way thinner. It's so thin that you can almost see you know in between it's almost transparent you can see the shape of the um, fill up in there through the outer wall or, or the outer skin and you can see that this skin can even you know you can squish it like this it's extremely soft um, so this is ideal for crawling so this is gonna work just like a crawler innovation foam but with all the goodies of the 3D printed insert, meaning waterproof, so you can vent this thing, water won't do anything to them, they will last forever. Uh, it's not like foam that it will, you know, at some point uh, break. So these for crawler crawling are ideal. So I'm making these to test them in a sporty rig. Um, so I'm looking for, I have someone in mind who wanna test them out, so. <laughs> And then we have the one ninth and you know the the one five fives. Same thing. We have um, you know zero point four uh, here, so they are a bit stiffer. Good for racing. Good for to have you know. Uh, but they're not that stiff. Like you still can crawl with these without a problem. I I have these in my in my um, gatekeeper, and it can crawl just fine. Uh, it's not gonna be the best crawling, but it, it, it definitely can crawl. Uh, and for racing, it's perfect. Keeps the car, the rig, super stable. And this one is printed in 0.3, which is kind of the softer, uh, same thing that I was showing you guys uh, on this one here. Uh, extremely soft. So all these are, these are just different colors, but are, are the same thing. Like, you see this thing kind of deforms immediately. So the, the outer layer is so thin that, uh, you know, deforms really easy and really, very nice. It's very smooth um, compared to this one, which is stiffer. That, that not, does not deform the same way. You, you can feel the difference quite, quite clear. Um, so if you're looking to print um, inserts for pure crawling and you're looking at that kind of performance, uh, this is it. 
I think um, this is just perfect. Uh, I'm doing this in 4% infill with Geroid, as explained on, on my model, uh, and with a 0.3 nozzle. And the things are getting really nice. So here I have these uh, tires that I'm planning to mount in one of my racing rigs. Um, yeah, um, it's pretty nice, pretty soft. So they, they will work pretty well. Yeah, so I just wanna give you guys an update on, you know, uh, some findings that I've been doing in terms of, you know, optimizing the the amount of uh, squish that you want to get or softness that you want to get out of the model when you print it. And you know, there, I, I think this part is key. Ma like many people, uh, most common nozzle used in 3D printed is 3.4 um, millimeter nozzle, but that nozzle does not provide the softness that you need when you're going serious about crawling. So yeah. Uh, that's all folks hope this is useful for for people to continue printing and enjoying uh, this design bye